believe there are three main ways to build up recurring income. So what I'm going to do here is share with you the three steps to building recurring income. And then I'm going to give you a new strategy, a recurring income strategy that I've virtually never talked about. I've let the cat out of the bag a little bit on my Instagram stories, maybe. And I have talked about it in a couple of small clubhouse rooms. But other than that, this recurring income strategy I'm going to talk to you about has virtually never been shared before by me and I do a lot of content. So there are three steps to setting up recurring income. Are you ready? Let's do this. Step one is you need to have an occurring income stream. So look, those of you that are working for a living, you know, you probably have got an occurring income. And, you know, you're probably stuck a little bit in exchanging your time for money, for example. Nothing wrong with that at all. But that's not recurring income. That's occurring income. And that is actually step one, because there are a lot of people who are like, yeah, I'm going to make passive income. I'm going to make millions. Yeah, just, you know, give me give me a a button to press. That's all I want to do. And they're a bit naive about recurring income. You know, there's a big reason, for example, I talk about recurring income, recurring revenue, and I don't say passive income. There's a big difference. So the fundamental difference between passive income and recurring income is passive attracts lazy bastards who aren't realistic about what it takes to build wealth. And I don't, look, I want to help people, but I don't want to attract people who can't help themselves or are naive and unrealistic or just want everything um, fed to them on a silver spoon and they want grapes peeled for them. You know, they want their toes sucked and massaged while the millions come in. That's, that's just not my bag. I have a wife for that. No, I'm only joking. That's just not my bag. So um, the difference between passive income and recurring income is recurring is ongoing. It You need to create occurring income before you create recurring income. And it is consistent. Uh, and you're prepared to work at it. You're prepared to continually tweak and um, improve and iterate. So um, you have to work hard enough not to have to work hard. You have to set to forget. There's no get rich quick overnight bullshit um, where, where I'm from. That being said, I have nine income streams. Uh, I earn many millions of pounds on recurring income from assets that I built 16 years ago, 15 years ago and 12 years ago. So we've got to get a middle ground here. The middle ground is you can create multiple streams of recurring income. There is such a thing because some people say to me, oh, there's no such thing as no money down. Oh, there's no such thing as passive income. Well, there fucking is. Um, talk to Slade. Slade wrote a Christmas number one in the 1970s. It's Christmas! And they earn £500,000 a year from that scream. <laughs> That's passive income. So make no mistake about it. Passive income is possible. However, you have to set to forget. And you have to work hard enough not to have to work hard. So step one, get some occurring income, build the assets, set to forget, put the work in, build the foundations and get at least one freaking income stream coming in first. That's step one. Step two then is to duplicate one or more income streams off of the income stream you've already created. Now, this is where a lot of people go wrong with recurring income. So you, you've heard, give me a yes in the comments. Uh, if you've ever heard people say, oh, the average millionaire has nine income streams. The average millionaire has five income streams. I don't know if you've ever heard you know, people say that. Well, I don't really know where they get the data from. I do think that the average millionaire has multiple streams of income. I have seen that myself. I don't know what the average is of how many they have. But here's what they didn't do built a property um, portfolio and then got into gyms and then got into um, doing colonic irrigation retreats and then built a smartphone and then ran a marathon. They didn't do unrelated business models and income streams. And this is the big myth. People think you start a load of different businesses all at the same time because you want to build multiple streams of income. That is the wrong, wrong, wrong way to do it. The right way to do it is to set up one main business model. So Harriet has said it on the live, do one thing and do it well and then grow. That I think is specifically correct. 
Because what I don't think is correct is to focus on one course until successful. Just do one thing. Only do one thing. Get great at one thing. Well, I know why people say that. Because, you know, if you want to be a professional footballer, you're probably not going to do football, cricket, golf and, and whatever, and rugby and, and b- basketball and baseball. I get that. But the point is, you do get good at one thing, but then you leverage multiple things from it. So you're a great footballer, you have a massive social media platform, and then you get sponsorships and endorsements. And then when you finish your football career, you become a pundit, etc. You launch your own NFT series, like many of these famous people have, etc. So that is the actual technical way to do this. Now, I know this because I've been doing it for 16 years, and I was... I was sceptical at first. Oh, there's no such thing as recurring income. There's no such thing as passive income. There's no such thing as no money down. It's all bollocks. Everyone's just selling bollocks. And that was me 16 years ago. And then I went on a Tony Robbins seminar. Yeah, man, you can be free. You can be rich. You can have multiple streams of recurring income overnight because you can think positive and do your affirmations. Don't bring your negativity around here, motherfucker. Get out of my face. All my naked friends, you can fuck off because I do Tony Robbins. And then I went completely the other way. And I was the biggest dick known to man because I'd done a couple of personal development seminars and I acted like I knew everything ever. Both extremes don't work. And I've been in both extremes. (laughs) I have. What works is a balance of both. So step one, you get some occurring income in a niche or a field or a focus that you're passionate about. So for, for me, for example, I love entrepreneurship. Love it, love it, love it, love it. I worked on Christmas Day on entrepreneurship. I worked on New Year's Day on entrepreneurship. I worked on my birthday on entrepreneurship. I love entrepreneurship. So it is work, but it's not like work work. I don't have to go down the factory mines, the coal mines. I don't have to work on the production lines. You know, I don't have to do hard graft. It's more craft than graft. Craft over graft. So you find a passion, you create some occurring income, and then you go, okay, right, I've got the income stream. How do I create assets related to this income stream? This is the key. People don't tell you this in this amount of detail, by the way, because they don't fucking know because they haven't done it. And I've been doing this for 16 years. I've got, so for example, I'm going to take you through my journey of building up recurring income streams from one main niche. And then when you get to a certain point when you need a new niche. So if you follow these steps, you're going to get rich in the end. Okay, I prefer get rich long to get rich quick, by the way. So I started selling properties, working for a property sourcing company. And I learned the ropes of property sourcing properties within a job working for someone else. Then when I've been doing that about a year, my business partner and I of 16 years decided we might as well buy some properties ourselves. We're sourcing for others. It's working for them. We're making a bit of money out of it, but we could make a lot more if we source for ourselves. And if we're sourcing for others, we might as well buy a few ourselves. So then once we'd sourced for others and got to know how to source good deals, we then started sourcing for ourselves. And we did that for a year. So we're sourcing for others, built up an income stream. Then sourcing for ourselves, building up another income stream, pretty much doing the same thing. And then after a while, we were like, well, we could teach people how to do this because, you know, not everyone wants um, to have property sourced for them. Some people want to be an investor. They want to be in property themselves. So we set up a training business and we ran a course. And to my surprise, it, it sold out and we made tens of thousands of pounds teaching people what we were already doing. So that was the third income stream. And then we built up such a portfolio of our own and portfolio that other people had bought and people who taught themselves and built their own portfolio. They're like, wow, we've got all these properties here. We could have a property management company because there's so many properties there to manage. So we set up a property management company. So sourcing for others, sourcing for ourselves, teaching others and managing those properties. That's four income streams, multiple streams of recurring income, but from the same information, passion, profession, niche and business model. And then we've done so many of all of those deals. And by the way, we went from earning 100 grand a year to 500 grand a year to a million a year. And I remember when we first did our first million month, I was like, holy shit. Then I started writing books. Now, by the way, I'd already sourced the deals for others, sourced the deals for myself, taught other people how to do it. So writing a book, I've just got to put it all in a book. 
Whereas if I wanted to write a book on becoming a doctor, I've got to go and do 10 years study. So I then wrote a book on it. And it's the best-selling property book in the UK. It's called Property Investing Secrets. That book was written 12 years ago. It's had five updates, which I got editors to do. So I'm still learning on that book from something I did 12 years ago. I'm still learning from properties I bought 15 years ago. So um, get this. I was buying properties for 50 grand in 2007. 50 grand. They're now 250 grand. Now I bought, started buying little single houses and now we've just finished a 99 apartment, 150 tenant block, which made £13,477 net profit in November 21. So little acorns can build up to big oak trees. So after we've done sourcing for ourselves, sourcing for others, training, writing books, property management, then we did property development. Now, we've done 85, 90% of the education to be a developer or a converter. So then we started developing and converting properties. So there's six related income streams there. Then I wrote another book. Then there was a crash. So I wrote about a crash. And then there was a boom. So I wrote about a boom. And then what I did was I took all the physical books and put them all onto Audible. And so then I'm double dipping and double dropping because I've already written the content. But I now sell about 55% of all of my books on Audible. And about 45% of all of my books in paperback. So I've doubled the income stream just taking the book and writing it into, uh, reading it into audio. Now, let's look at how most people try and do multiple streams of recurring income and how they fuck it right up. Oh, I'm going to study to be a doctor. Nah, get into property. Oh, I'm going to do some stock market trading. Oh, I want to launch an NFT. Oh, I want to do some health spa retreats in Bali and do colonic irrigations and sing Kumbaya. And they just all, all these different unrelated income streams. And it's too much. And then everything goes to shit. And then they have a breakdown. And then it doesn't work. And then they get a job for someone they hate. <laughs> and that is the cycle that most people go through. But if you follow my system of step one... Get a good occurring income stream from a passion, ideally. Step two, set up a second, unre- a second related income stream to it. So if you're sourcing property, add property management. Then add property training. Then add authoring. And you add as many different income streams on top of the existing niche and knowledge. And then when you've got quite a few, let's say five, then you go, shit, I'm exposed. So, for example, my business partner said he doesn't want to buy any more residential for a while. Or, com- or have more residential in our portfolio because he thinks we're quite, we've got so much residential property now, hundreds of units. He's like, that's enough for a while. Um, so then what you do is you set up an unrelated income stream on purpose as a hedge. So then what I did is I bought a business training company. I bought it for five grand and t- it was basically losing money and I turned it around and it did 11 million in 2016. So then we started teaching public speaking courses. I was a speaker. We started teaching podcasting courses. I was a podcaster. And we started teaching teaching business courses. I'm a business entrepreneur. And now have nine different income streams, books, audio books, sponsors and advertisers on all my social media, courses, masterminds, real estate, you name it. So step one, get good at something and get some occurring income. Step two, add one by one related income streams where you can carry all your existing experience over into the new stream. Turn a book into an audio book, for example, or turn property development into also property management, into property training, into authoring, into paid public speaking, etc. How many different ways can you sweat the one asset? That's the easiest way to do it in the different forms that you can monetize the asset. Now, information is one of the best ways to do that. So if I've spent 16 years building up 1,540 tenants in my hundreds of properties, if I've made tens of millions of pounds in property, I would be wise to monetize that every single way I can. Development, ownership, education, authoring, public speaking, you name it. And then when you get exposed in, i.e. you've got all your income streams from, because if there's a massive property crash, I might be like, shit, I need a hedge. So then what you do is you diversify into a a new income stream and you build it up again. And they are the three steps of building multiple streams of recurring income the right way. Now, if you'd love to build yourself multiple streams of recurring income the right way, if you'd love to find your one passion and turn it into occurring income, if you'd love to take your existing passion and turn it into recurring income, if you'd like to know all the different asset classes that you can set up, 
from what you already know into cash flow, from your information into income, or from what you already do, your business turned into a passion profession, then simply go right now to ris.live. The link is simply ris.live. Now, you'd want to go here for two reasons. Reason number one is you're going to get priority notification for when the brand new recurring income summit goes live. It is not live. Dates have not been announced. You can't get in. And by the way, I only like to have two to three hundred people on the recurring income summit live, sometimes a few more, but often thousands or even you know many thousands of people want to get in. So if you go right now to RIS, as in recurring income summit, ris.live, stop what you're doing right now and, and go and do that, then the first thing you're going to get is advanced notification um, before anybody else when we open up that event. Now, by the way, this is not a cheapy free event. However, I am doing something very special when I launch it because I'd like to do something for my foundation. So I will actually be making some subsidies and I will be gifting some people uh, tickets um, if they just do a little support to my foundation, the Rob Moore Foundation. That's something brand new. So you can actually gain access to this event if you're first and early. Um, so that's step one reason why you'd want to go to RIS. Dot live. Just let me know in the comments if you've just joined um, and registered there. The link is, I've pinned it to the top on Clubhouse, by the way, R-I-S, as in Recurring Income Summit, dot live. The second reason you'd want to go there is I've created a document on building recurring income streams and the step-by-step -step processes of doing that and how to set up assets that you work and build once and then earn from them on an ongoing basis, much like Slade, who wrote their 1970s Christmas number one. So there's actually some physical resource there for you as well. Uh, and the, uh, the link again, it's pinned to the top on Clubhouse because um, I'm getting asked about it in the comments. It's just RIS, which stands for Recurring Income Summit, dot, dot live. I can see some people are joining here on Instagram. Um, now, uh, Kirsty has asked, is this in person or online? This is a, a Zoom mastermind. So this is actually on Zoom. So it's not a recorded event, but anyone in the world can join because it's on Zoom. R-I-S dot L-I-V-E. I've got a wobbly stand here on my Instagram. I'm going to change it for next time. R-I-S dot live. OK, great. Now what I'm going to do, I'll just leave that link there for a minute. You can go and, and pop your details in. There's... um. There's a document there that will just build you some foundations and fundamentals of building those recurring income streams. Now, um, I'm going to share one particular specific income stream, and it's brand new, um, and it's NFTs. Now, um, NFTs are very new. Therefore, their value is subjective, somewhat volatile, you could say. But you could also say that they're very new and very exciting. Now... My mission is to help as many people on this planet start and scale their business and get better financial education and knowledge. That's what I feel like I was put on this planet to do. And right now we're in the world of NFTs where a lot of people are making a lot of money, but it's still really early. Some people are pumping and dumping. Kim Kardashian's just been accused of pumping and dumping. It's a very Wild West new industry. Therefore... Um, there's opportunity and there's downside. And so I see it as my job to give you the balanced reality. So I'm both sceptical and positive. I'm careful and carefree. I am, you know, I like to do diligence and research, but I also like to feel like anything is possible and available. I love to jump on opportunities, but I also don't like to do it too soon and do anything stupid. So I'm a walking paradox, which I think is actually a good thing to be. So I've actually been building up my own NFT series and my own NFT launch for many months. Um, someone called Fuckboy has requested to join my Instagram. I think I will decline Fuckboy coming on my Instagram live. Hashtag just saying maybe change your name profile on Instagram to something other than Fuckboy. And then maybe I'll bring you on a split screen live and we can talk. But that's a bit of a risk to me. That's the sceptical side coming out. Um, anyway, back in the game. 
So I've actually been working on my NFT series for many months, many, many months. Now, I used to be an artist. Most people don't know this. So I've actually got good pedigree when it comes to launching an art um, uh, NFT series. I'm not going to tell you about my story now because I've, I've got six minutes left. That's it. And then I'm going to hand the room and the talk over. I want to thank you for tuning in. By the way, if you're listening, wherever you're listening, make sure you're following me. If you're watching on Instagram, make sure you follow me here on Instagram. If you're watching and listening on Clubhouse or Facebook Audio Rooms, just give me a quick follow. Um, the reason you would do that is because then you could be notified when I go live. Uh, I don't schedule any of my content live. I just think, right, have I got time now? Bang, go live. Um, many people give you the same piece of content over and over and over, which I respect and admire greatly. But I often give you lots of different strategies and tactics just because I like to build up multiple streams of recurring income. So make sure you're following me before you leave. Now, with NFTs, I believe the way forward in NFTs is one, learn about them. Two, test setting one up or buying one. And then three, either launch your own series or watch someone else launching theirs. Now, why would you want to learn about and possibly launch your own NFT? Well, um, look, I'm not particularly interested in politics, but it's pretty important to know what legislation and regulation is going on in our country. So I um, watch politics from afar. So there's various things that maybe I wouldn't necessarily think I was initially into, but it actually greatly impacts me. Now, cryptos and NFTs and the blockchain and the metaverse, these directly affect you because this is the way the world is going. And if you said, now nah, I'm not going to get in cars, they're dangerous, I'm going to walk everywhere. In 1921, it might have been a good idea. But now everyone drives cars and you can't go across America without being in a car. So don't get left behind on cryptocurrencies, on NFTs, on the metaverse, etc. Because this is where the world is going. So an NFT is a non-fungible token, which, which essentially means it cannot be broken up. A token could be a coin, a digital coin, could be uh, an image or piece of art, could be a smart contract, a certificate of art, authenticity, could be a ticket or access. It could be many things. And actually, as the NFT space is evolving very fast, it's evolving, by the way, people aren't just doing bored apes and art anymore. They're doing tickets and access. You know, they're doing smart contracts. They're even doing certificates of authenticity, etc. So the functionality of NFTs is evolving fast. And it's not just about the art although it's also about the art. So my NFT launch, which is coming in about three weeks or something like that, I'm just going to talk you through it. I've got three minutes to talk you through it. Um, and what I'm going to do is give you access so that you can get notified about it when it goes live. So I'm going to create a unique piece of art of which there are only 43 pieces ever created and I'm going to merge digital art with physical art and my previous career as an artist. So there's lots of people launching NFTs who aren't artists. That's fine. I'm not knocking them. I'm just saying. Um, and there's lots of people launching NFTs that are just giving away images for free or what I, I believe slightly devaluing the concept. So I have 43 different images of characters that I've created that are unique in the sense that they're not created on a computer. They've been physically made by me and photographed. And then when you buy my NFT, you also receive the physical character in a perspex, perspex box as a piece of art that you can own. And I believe to be the only person in the world that I've ever seen that's done this. But in addition to that, when I launch these unique one of 43 pieces of art digitally and physically owned by you, you will also get digital assets. So again, I don't know anyone who's ever done this. But if you are one of the 43 um, purchasers of my 43 NFTs when they launch, if you got one of the 19 green and yellow candy characters, you would also own one of my podcast episodes for life. You could run one or two ads 
on that podcast episode every day for life, the life of the podcast. By the way, my podcast Disruptors has been going on six years. It's 800 episodes. Imagine being able to run not one but two ads for your product, your service, or just your brand and social media every single day on one of the biggest podcasts in the world for life. And you will get ownership of that episode with the NFT that you buy. I don't know anyone in the world that's doing that. So there's utility as well as digital art, as well as physical art. Now, of the 43 that I'm launching, 19 of them are green and yellow characters. And if you've been checking out my Instagram stories, I've been showing some of them there. So make sure you're following me on Instagram. But if you are to buy one of the 15 pink and reds, not only do you own a podcast episode for life, you also own a YouTube video of mine for life. Now, my podcast has had millions of downloads and subscribers across 204 countries. And my YouTube video has had tens of millions of views, 116, I think, thousand followers. So you're going to own two assets that could give you tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, or even millions of views and downloads and reach. So that's a pretty compelling bonus. Now, I'm looking, of course, for people who've got a business or want to start and scale a business or are entrepreneurial, because if you don't have a business and you just go, hi, I'm Rob and I own Rob's podcast, follow Rob. You know, that's not as valuable as if you have a product or a service, but I'm only launching 43. Now, by the way, I have 1.1 million followers on social media. And I have about 850,000 people that over the years have subscribed to my email databases. So let's call that 1.9 million people, but only 43 are going to be able to access, access these NFTs, which is going to give those NFTs really good value. Because a lot of people, there isn't really scarcity. They're making it up or they make too many of them. Some people make 10,000 in a series. That's too many. Or some people don't have a big enough following. I've got 1.9 million people who are going to be potentially notified about this NFT launch and there's only 43. And if you buy one of the 19 green and yellows, then you're going to own a podcast episode for life. That could be the next 10 or 20 or 30 years. And you can run two ads on it, whatever you want to promote. Now, by the way, I'm probably going to handpick these because obviously I don't want anyone selling condoms um, or their only fans on my podcast. Nothing wrong with that. That's just not quite on brand. So if you buy one of the 15 reds and um, pink characters, you're going to own not just the podcast episode, but also the YouTube episode. But if you own one of the six purples, you're going to own a podcast episode, a YouTube episode, and you're going to own your own show where I'm going to interview you and you're going to have your own show published on my, you know, I mean, I've just interviewed um, Nigel Farage. Um, I've interviewed 16 billionaires, Nigel Farage, massive politician in the UK. I've just interviewed someone who's been on Joe Rogan four times. I interviewed Floyd Mayweather twice. And you're going to be interviewed on my show if you buy one of the six purples. Now, I can see a lot. So um, Desari has just asked, how much will one cost? I'm not telling you. This isn't being launched for a few weeks. But there's two reasons why I'm telling you this. Number one is you should get into NFTs at least to learn Go figure out how they work. Go figure out how to create one. Watch people's launches. And so you can actually watch my launch. So if you go now to robmore.com forward slash NFT. Robmore.com forward slash NFT. As in non-fungible token. Go right now to robmore.com forward slash NFT. You can actually watch my entire launch unfold. There's no obligation to buy any of the NFTs. That's up to you. If you have any interest in buying the NFTs or seeing how much they are and how the launch goes, just simply go right now to robmore.com forward slash NFT. I've put the link in the comments on Instagram. I've changed the link at the top now on Clubhouse. Now, 15 minutes ago, you went to ras.live to put your information in because you're interested in the Recurring Income Summit. That's cool. That's done. This is separate. This is for you if you're interested in, one, watching my NFT launch, seeing the art, seeing how I do the launch, seeing the pricing, seeing the utility, and you want to watch how it goes. But you might want to buy one. I don't know. Now, I have also got something for most of you. So let's be honest. If I've got 1.9 million people following me across all social media and email subscriptions, then the chances of getting one of those 43 are quite low. Your chances dramatically increase if you go to robmore.com forward slash NFT, because here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to announce it 
to all the people at robmore.nf, robmore.com forward slash NFT first before anywhere else. Now, I have held a few back for a few of my friends. I've got a few of my friends, some of them are on this stage, that I'm going to actually offer an NFT uh, and a, the physical art and the ownership of the podcast and the YouTube channel and be interviewed by me because, you know, I want to collaborate with people who are, you know, I'm, I'm fond of. So they'll probably in reality be about 30 for sale. But if you go right now to robmore.com forward slash NFT, then at least you've got a chance of getting one of those 30 um, because I'm going to announce it to you before I announce it out to the rest of the world. The second benefit of going to robmore.com forward slash NFT is I've also got a special uh, gift for you there. And um, on the thank you page, there's access to billionaire interviews, the Floyd Mayweather interviews I did not just once, but twice on, um, on some audio content on money that I'm giving you for free. So let me just finalise this then. What I've covered in the last 30 minute masterclass is the three steps to build recurring income. Step one, turn a passion into a profession or build some kind of specialism and create occurring income. Step two, leverage all of that knowledge you built in that one space and create multiple streams of income from the same niche. Like if you're in property, do property management, property training, property development, property ownership, etc. And then once you've got four, five, six different income streams around the one niche, start setting up unrelated income streams to diversify and to hedge. And then continue to monitor them, manage them, systemize them, develop them, tweak them, test them and improve them. They are the four simple proven steps to set up multiple streams of recurring income. I did a 15 minute masterclass on that. If you follow me on my Facebook page, that's where it's been recorded if you want to go back and listen. Then I talked to you about NFTs and the exciting times for NFTs is because they're not just pieces of digital art anymore. They're also smart contracts. They're going to have utility. They're tickets to events. They're certificates of authenticity. I've been working on my own NFT launch for many months. And the reason I'm now going to go live in a few weeks is because I think I've merged the art, the physical and the digital with the utility and the ownership of assets. So let's say you buy an NFT of me. Maybe it goes up, maybe it goes down. If it goes up, you're happy. If it doesn't go up, but you got utility to the value of the NFT, you're still happy because it going up is a, an added bonus. So if you own a podcast episode of Mine for Life, if you own a YouTube episode of Mine for Life, or if you're interviewed by me like Floyd Mayweather has been, all these famous people, and that's on my podcast on YouTube for Life, that in and of itself is worth tens of thousands of pounds, maybe. By the way, I've got a main sponsor who just agreed to pay me more than £100,000 for every six months of sponsorship, and they pay me up front. So go right now to Rob Moore dot com forward slash nft this is not a funnel where i'm gonna sell you a load of courses There's nothing wrong with that i love i love selling and i love people who sell um but the reason um i'm just popping this little page up for you is to let you know that if you go to robmore.com forward slash nft you will be notified first before anybody else of this upcoming nft launch i've had hundreds of people asking me about this Hundreds of people on my Instagram stories going, what are these things that you're sharing? Is this your NFT drop? And I want to make sure that you don't miss out. There's also some special gifts on robmore.com forward slash NFT, including interviews with billionaires on the thank you page and access to nearly 250 episodes of money related audio content that you can instantly download. So I want to thank you all for tuning in and I hand over the microphone.